All right, I think I need to do this now. <laughs> hey there, one Sarah Cow. So this is after I was done taking notes from um, uh, the the last video, basically of Reverie, and uh, I think I've decoded the numbers up to twenty four. So I think rat like I was like okay well I guess I got to I got to do that in the blurb then right that's going to be awkward but no that's not going to work no one's going to read that so shut up let's just do uh, an extra video to kind of this is what my notes are looking like by the way this is how I'm taking track of the pipe maze beautiful work I'm aware these are the animals this is my music box. It's a little squished in to see. These are the, the clock things. And uh, yeah, so look, it's very simple. We got a clock to start. I know it's not a circle. That's fine. So it's very easy to see that it starts with a very clear pattern. You no, know, one, two, three, four is the three angles. Then you get five with a dot. The get five is one line with a dot. And then and if you look underneath that shape, it's one, two, three, four. But with a line over, then we get ten. And look at that. Eleven is ten plus one. Twelve is ten plus two. We know just using this clock numbers all the way to fourteen. Remember our math? Four times four is sixteen. Check it out. Fifteen is the line with a dot above. We know all numbers up to 19. Also math, we got 10 plus 12, 22. We got, we can, we could deduce that, but yeah, 20 is vertical line with the dot on the right, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. So we have numbers up to 20, uh, 24, and the system does not, um, have a potential for numbers beyond 24 actually which is kind of funny this is just my my key I just put a key separately just so I can refer to that quickly so yeah these are the things I'm gonna have to put in the ghost house uh, so I translated the animals into numbers I don't know if the numbers matter but you know this does confirm at least an order that we can try if we just want to go from smallest to largest. Like, why not? And, um, is there anything else I wanted to say? Yeah, so, like, let's let's decode the doors at origin for fun. Like, just as, as a test. So, the top door that we do not have access to, the bar is over. So, that's a five. Plus, it's that little J thing. So it's a four, so it's five plus four, that is nine. Is it nine on the clock? It's the same as nine on the clock. Vertical with a small r on the side. So vertical, so that's gonna be 10, 12. So that's gonna be 12. Is it 12 on the clock? It sure is. So Calvera's gonna be 12, well 12, but it says gonna be 13. This one is 15, 15 plus 4, so that's 19 going down. That's 23, 20 with the 3 on the side. And I think that's going to be 20, that's going to be 22 over the treetops. So, yeah, if... If it's flat surface against a flat surface, there's a space. If it's the pointy part of the shape against the surface, they're linked. I don't think there's any difference other than that. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident about it. I don't know if this is counting. Like, like, like that's the thing. Like, So I can put a number on each of these origins. I don't necessarily know if that means anything. Because, like, the tree dance, I can decode the tree dance. Technically speaking, it is 6, 3, 22. But, like, what does that mean for me? Nothing yet. I get the feeling that at some point, somewhere, we're going to be able to transcribe numbers into action. And that's how we're going to open the origin door.
Uh, but next time, yeah, we're going in the clock. We're popping these in 8, 11, 2, and 7. We're going to see what happens with that.